Okay, here I got the switch out, but I want to show you a tip here. In order to get the switch out, you need to loosen this lock nut. And if you can see the top of this um, connection, and all you need to do is press here and pull up. All right, we're gonna check for some continuity for the top two and the bottom two pins. And bottom top two is for the when the pin is out, and the bottom two is uh, for when the pin is pushed in. All right, uh, this is the old one. So let's just see what happens here. All right, bear with me. As you can see, there is continuity when the pin is out. All right. All right, we got the alligator clips in for the bottom two. They're smaller alligator clip fit in there. So now when we press this, and as you can see, there is no continuity. Um, but if I go all the way, there is. That free play should engage the switch, and, uh, but it's not doing it. So let's do the same thing with the new one. We're gonna push the switch in. As you can see, as soon as I uh, go over the free play, the switch engages and stays engaged. So the old switch is bad. And we're gonna put this in the car. Okay, um, to put this in, you just gonna have to twist it and make sure this lock nut is backed up. And you wanna expose the uh, the pin uh, you want to push it in about two thirds remember past the point of the resistance of course you can't feel the resistance here but the intention is uh, once the pin is pushed the back lights should be off and then uh, tighten this lock nut and check to see the back lights are off and uh, I'm gonna, after you twist it actually, the switch all the way enough, you're gonna have to push up there and, and uh, plug in the connection. Don't plug the connection before you turn it, otherwise you're gonna uh, damage the wires. So connect the connections and then test it. And uh, for that, I wanna show you the lights should be at this point off in the back. Let's go check that. As you can see, the lights are off. All right, um, I'm gonna put a pan moves and goes down. Hopefully past the point of resistance. Pedal and let's go see how it's behaving in the back. As you can see, the lights are on. You're gonna have to kind of play around with that. And the last thing you pr you may want to do is, uh, after you do all this, have someone follow you and uh, tell you if the brake lights are on, coming up. Tighten this lock nut before you're testing. And uh, that should do it. Good luck.